Ed Hora's favorite Filipino beer right here. Street food Filipino food in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So excited. This spot is very rare, even in New York City where there's a lot of great Filipino food. You, know, you can check out our video up here of New York City Filipino food. We're gonna put a card up here. Not easy to get Filipino barbecue, and when you do, not easy to get it with charcoal. In a restaurant, no less. So, feels like we're on the streets here in the Philippines eating it like this. We got all the good stuff. Pizza, we have guliempo, we have pork um, barbecue, and we have ears and garlic rice, and it's white rice, and it's it's filled with chicken oil, and we have seasick, we have bagos, and then we have more of salmon, and we have red horse, and we have more coming. We're eating right on the banana leaves too, traditional burro fight style, water hands. And of course, barbecue, beer, unbeatable combination. Especially in the Philippines, has many nights where I'm just swigging down these red horse. <laughs> They gotta go with the Isao, the pork intestine first. Look at that, it's glorious. Mmm, wow. Mmm. You get the smoke in the charcoal. It's got a little bit of crisp on it, slight chew, but pleasant. Like it's tender, it's not gristly in any way. No. Dip it in the salsa. Oh my god, salsa is glorious. Mm -hmm. Wow, that sauce that one's full of flavor. So it's got vinegar laced with this garlic, it's got soy sauce, and it's got that chicken oil. It's a special house-made chicken oil. A lot of secret spices, lemongrass, definitely taste the lemongrass. We also added some chili in here as well. And you gotta have the sauce that one with this sauce. It really takes this one of the So that's the thing too. You gotta come here to get that chicken oil. And you don't send it out for delivery. So you gotta come here to get it. All the more reason. You definitely want to come here and you just want to smell that barbecue. You just want to smell it. You feel like you're out in the streets even though you're inside of the restaurant. You want to smell that charcoal. You want to smell that barbecue. Who doesn't love barbecue, right? Drizzle that chicken oil all over the rice. There it is. Mm. That chicken oil is just ridiculous. It's, wow. That's how you want your rice. Douse the chicken oil. It's a really nice orange color. It's nice to pick up. It's the pork ears. And it's also, it looks like it's pork belly on here too. When you really get that like gelatinous cartilage kind of taste and texture, it's like luscious on the edge. From that, the way it's been grilled, you get that really luscious, soft side to it. Mm. I tell you, charcoal makes all the difference in barbecue. It is. Without charcoal or wood, barbecue is just not the same. It takes that to a whole other level. Beauty right here, this tiempo. You can eat it just like this. It's thick like this. Juicy, delicious. Like it's tender, but it's got a slight still bit of chew to it also. It's really well balanced. And you got this nice layer of fat. Let's take a bite of fat. Mm. It just marinated so well. It's slightly sweet. Really what makes it special also is that charcoal flavor. You have that sweetness with that charcoal. It's nice because that slight bit savory, but it's like that sweet and savory combination that's so glorious. And 
Jumi, I don't know. I might, I might finish this before you get to it. Sorry. No. <laughs> last barbecue here of the pork. It's the pork barbecue. So you see here, you got the pieces of the pork, it's more of like the leaner pieces mixed with a piece of fat, a big piece of fat at the head. So you have that really nice mixture here. It smells delicious. It's mm. I like this one too. It's like a little simpler on the marinade. So it doesn't have like an overwhelming amount of like spices, like lemongrass and such. So you can really taste the charcoal just embedded in that pork. But I'm gonna go for the salsa because man, the salsa one is good. I'm telling you that chicken oil is something genius. So you have that chicken fat, the lemongrass, all this like just drink it. I can just drink it out of the bottle. That's how good it is. The barbecue here is just a fun point. Specialty of Spitfire. It's very special, and you're gonna see why very soon because this is the chicken inasa. It's been grilled, it's got a lot of spices here from the lemongrass. Oh, I can't tell anymore, let's just get a bite. This is the leg, so you get the whole drumstick thigh combo right here. The meat is just hanging off the bone. The skin is so nice and crispy from beyond the grill the charcoal flavor, but man, that lemongrass, you can see the shards of lemongrass just coming right off that chicken. The lemongrass is just perfection. If you watch us for a little while, you know we love lemongrass. This is very simply marinated. I come from Makola, the Sias region of Philippines. Water actually, it's also, it's also so good, but this is very simply marinated. So the flavor is not simple, but the marinade is, so it's just lemongrass, soy sauce, calamansi, that's it. Chicken is just so juicy, just that flavor, that lemongrass is really what makes this peanut salad so special. The uh, chara is the pickle shredded papaya, carrot. Mm. So slightly sweet, tangy from the pickle, with the vinegar in there. It's nice because it cuts through all the riches from all the rich food we're eating. So it goes, it pairs really well with peanut salad. Just sell buckets of this inner salad. Just this grilled chicken inner salad. Buy the bucket. You could not go wrong. Bits, you have the jolly here. It's been uh, got some charred bits here too because it comes on that sizzling platter. And you have that luscious, creamy egg that's been mixed in, kind of melts it together. Crunchy onions, but 
that calamansi gives it that really nice citrusy lime orange flavor to go with it to kind of cut through that richness a bit not everybody though they should use the jowl sometimes they use the pork belly just using the jowl here so Speedfire Filipino Kitchen. We opened the Speedfire Filipino Kitchen the December 24 of 2019. I came from the college city, city of smile. You cannot see my smile. Yes. So I'm wearing masks for our safety. Yes. Famous for our chicken in the sun. Husband go here first. He's four years here in Malaysia and me turning two years. I work as a um, uh, staff in a Italian restaurant and a Northern Indian Persian food. What really inspires me is like uh, to bring my own recipe here, to bring our own food here from Philippines. Yeah, it pop up on our mind that we're gonna put Inasal here in Malaysia. It seems like uh, this one is like uh, new and it's like uh, very unique. Because uh, when I took over this, it comes with a big griller, so it popped up on my mind to put chicken in the salad of, of the college city. I'm gonna give my recipe, but not all. I have a chicken. Uh, the sauce is made by lemongrass, uh, calamansi, soy sauce. This is the only three. Uh, if you're gonna make a chicken oil, the best one, and they really like the chicken oil. It's like you feel like you're in Bacolod City. It's because of the chicken oil. <laughs> it's made by <laughs> chicken, uh, chicken broth, okay? And the soy sauce, calamansi, lemongrass, and the last thing is the oil. So make it uh, blend and uh, like uh, mix it well. And it's like, mm, it depends on you on how you gonna mix it. <laughs> then that's it. It's nice with uh, if you're gonna eat the chicken and the sal, you're gonna put a soy sauce, chili patty, calamansi, uh, uh, the, the vinegar that we call it suka. The suka is already made by our own recipe, also. Even the suka, we made it our own. Wow. Even the soy sauce, we made it our own. Family recipe? Uh, it came from my father because my father is a chef. So he taught me how to cook a inasal, other food of Filipino food. Actually, he taught me how to cook also uh, Italian food, Japanese food, but mostly like uh, as a typical from province of Bacolod City, we we only cook like a simple dish like pinakbet, like the tinolang manok, sinigang, and most importantly the inasal. Julie, if you have a charcoal in uh, one, like we call it paso, we put a charcoal there and we put the liempo, the, the pork barbecue, the chicken and the sal, and we will make our own. So when I took over this and I have my restaurant, um, that's, that's the one thing that I really want to put my, 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 my food here and, as, and my husband also. My husband also helping me to put a Filipino food here because he's very good in cooking. He is an engineer, but he is really good in cooking. Yeah, not uh, easy, but we have to move forward. I mean, move forward for like for the future of our kids also like this. And we want to see uh, like how far we're gonna gonna have this restaurant. But like maybe hope people will like our food also. <laughs> Chicken oil. Chicken oil the best. Mm. Husband? <laughs> when did, how did you the youngest um, the youngest business owner? <laughs> the youngest? One of the owners. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's very inspiring. 